What is up guys? I'm Daddy Gamer Fred back again with another Pokemon Go news update video. Today is March 22nd, 2018 and Niantic, like always, routinely dropped another event for Easter. This Easter event is tying into Pokemon Go eggs, which is not surprising at all. And <laughs> so let's jump over to the Niantic official blog post website, which is PokemonGoLive.com. I'm going to have a link to this website in the description below if you want to check it out for yourself. It says, trainers, it is time to get cracking on a special egg event. Now, excuse the puns. They're going to be all over this thing. It says, the Pokemon Go egg extravaganza is coming back on March 22nd at 1 p.m. PDT. This time, you have even more chances to hatch certain Pokemon. This year, an even greater variety of Pokemon will be found in 2K eggs. And only those eggs will be available from Pokestops throughout the event so that's cool they're gonna basically squeeze everything into 2k eggs and that's gonna be the only eggs we're gonna be able to pick up until this event is over so kudos on that that's that seems dope it says this means that pokemon that normally hatch from 5ks 10ks such as walnut or rollis will be found in 2k eggs until their event ends on april 2nd there will also be an increased hatch rate of certain pokemon such as Pichu and Tokopi, which is dope. I actually haven't gotten a Tokopi yet, so this will be my first if I do find one inside of these eggs. Hopefully that means that potentially because these eggs are hatching faster, we can hatch a shiny Pichu faster potentially with this, but I'm gonna get into all the possibilities of shinies because that's another news story. It says your eggs traditional efforts will bring rewards every egg hatch during the event will also include a bonus candy to help you power up your newly hatched pokemon additionally double stardust is available throughout the event and game shops also have special boxes to help you get the most out of hatching your eggs which include super incubators and star pieces so lace up your shoes and prepare for this egg exciting event exciting get it okay so one i think this is again pretty dope we're getting eggs all 2k with pokemon from 10k from five eggs mixed into 2k stuff which is dope they're gonna hatch faster which is incredible it lasts until april 2nd which is even dope that leaves us a couple of what is that like almost a week so we can jump in and get these eggs and stuff like that i think that's cool we're also getting double stardust which is dope throughout the event so hopefully that means double stardust for everything for catches and everything um, i have to check around and see exactly what that means but hopefully that's exactly what it means when it says it there it says double stardust available throughout the event hopefully that's not just for hatching eggs now the next news story to me happens to be the biggest news story today because yeah we're getting that cool egg event but what will be an event a niantic pokemon go event if we didn't get a brand new shiny added in easter event this egg extravaganza whatever they want to call it is no different because we finally have shiny magb being hatched from eggs and you know magb evolves into magmar so shiny magby in magmar has been officially actually confirmed to be in the game from several accounts i'm gonna have a couple of images and stuff like that on screen right now for you guys to see but also look at that pink magmar that shit looks so dope i again gen 1 bias i love me some shiny gen 1 pokemon just because it's gen 1 and i have that uh, you know attachment to it but we got a brand new shiny go out and hunt that shiny we got magmi evolving into magmar and hell you might want to get a couple of them because you know that we can evolve magmar into to, I forget what the other one is called, Magazone, or is that the, the I get, I'm getting it confused. I'm gonna have an image of that Pokemon that Magmar evolves into, I believe in 6th gen or 5th? 
I'm not too sure when it evolves, but again, I probably have that correct information on the screen for you guys. Now, as of recording this, there has been no 100% confirmation that this has been found in game live to us, but this has been found via data mined and, and through the network traffic data that Tokapi in its evolution, Tokatik, also has been found shiny in game. So again, not 100% confirmation, I'll probably do a video updating tomorrow letting you know like yeah you can find Togepi but as of recording this video there has been no one from my knowledge that has found Togepi shiny yet. Now another one that's gonna have to fall in that camp of Togepi is Wabafet being found shiny in the game. Now, as you can see, there's two different sprites for Wamba Fett, one male, one being female. The female obviously has like the red lipsticks or whatever the case may be, the male not having it. Kind of weird choice for making this one shiny for this event, but I could kind of see why. It's kind of Easter colors, you know, that blue, that pink. It kind of makes sense, but what I do not understand is how Niantic always rolls out these shinies. They're always extra quiet on it. And I think they do it because it's a rare thing and they don't want to promote it and like, oh, this shiny is available when not everyone may obtain it and it may get, you know, maybe discourage younger players who may know about the shiny, but make it feel that special that Niantic, again, is not announcing that there are shinies rolling out in game, even though they are. It's kind of like what I think the Pokemon company does with the baseline games. Yeah, sure, they're shiny versions inside of the baseline game, but I don't think they'll ever put like a shiny version of a legendary or something like that on the cover of box art, especially if that Pokemon is not obtainable very easily. Also in the news, PokemonGoHub.net. I'm gonna have a link to this article in the description below. I recommend everyone who is considering purchasing a box from this egg extravaganza box sale to check out PokemonGoHub.net and to read their guide and their recommendation for buying which box for the best bang for your buck. Again, I'm not 100%, I don't buy every box, so it's kind of hard for me to, you know, compare and contrast. I 100% love Super Incubators and they are available through this event and they are available through multiple boxes that are on sale. So I would say go for those. But again, if you want a, a deep dive on the topic, I'm gonna leave this news article in the description below now that's gonna be it for today now guys I do want to give you guys an update on how my progression has been going for Pokemon go now it has been a slow burn because of me moving to this brand new studio one of the caveats that it came with is that there's literally no pokey stops nearby like I literally have to get out and walk pretty far before I can hit a poke stop and that poke stop is by itself so Hopefully, what I'm planning to do is hopefully, again, hopefully, whenever Niantic rolls out that new feature where we can request Pokestops at certain locations, I'm gonna see if I can pull some near me so I can be much more active in the game. But as of right now, with this brand a new place that I'm in, I'm only gonna be playing Pokemon Go when I am on the move, when I do go out to like, um, you know, the store or the mall, whatever the case may be, because those places are filled with Poke stops, but I, you know, I'm not going to the mall every day. I probably go like once a week, but that's definitely different from the place I was living at just recently because that place literally had like three Poke stops right there in the studio. So I didn't even have to leave the studio in order to spend some. So that was a blessing. But then it's kind of now it's a curse because now I don't even have one next to me. So the struggles of a Pokemon Go player. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below with all this news about the Pokemon Go Egg Extravaganza about this brand new shiny that has been in the game. Do you think these other Pokemon are going to be found shiny or not? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. And if you are getting a box and you do have recommendations for them, let me know that as well. Like always, guys, I'm Daddy Gamer Fred on Instagram and Twitter. You guys can bring a conversation there. I'm the American Gamer in Switzerland right here on YouTube. And yes, I'm going to be doing a ton of these Pokemon Go news update videos. The best way to catch them all is with a subscription. So please, hit that subscribe button also hit the like button because it does help me out a ton as far as growing the channel is concerned ring the bell if you want to be notified on the next time i drop a video peace i'm gonna see you guys on the next pokemon go news update video